What If You Had Animal Teeth by Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. So you've lost your front teeth. Before you know it, two new ones will push right into their space. But what if an animal's teeth grew in instead? A beaver's front teeth are shaped like chisels and are very sharp. They're perfect for biting off bark and cutting down trees. A beaver's front teeth have a coating that contains iron. That makes them super strong and orange. If you had beaver teeth, your front teeth would never stop growing, so you could gnaw all the tough stuff you'd like, day after day for all of your life. A great white shark's front teeth are like all its others, two inches long and an edge like a steak knife. They are great for biting through super thick things like an elephant seal's skin. Great white sharks get new teeth about every 100 days. That keeps their bite at its sharpest. If you had great white shark teeth, you'd never have to worry about losing a tooth. There'd always be a new tooth growing behind it, ready to slide into place and there'd never be a gap in your bite. A narwhal's front teeth do something quite strange. The right one stays small, but the left one grows longer and longer and longer to nearly 10 feet. Once it's that big, it has a new name. Instead of a tooth, it's called a tusk. A narwhal's long front tooth grows right through its upper lip. What would you use your tusk for if you were a narwhal? Would you poke around to find fish or fight off your enemies? Or would you feel your way through the dark parts of the ocean? Even scientists wonder what a narwhal does with its tusk. An elephant's front teeth are called tusks too. A male's tusk grows between five and seven inches longer each year of its life. The world record elephant tusk was more than 11 feet long. They're great for digging water holes and pulling up tree roots to munch. Elephants are right tusked or left tusked, meaning they use one tusk more than the other. If you had elephant tusks as your front teeth, they would be super strong too. You could easily lift and move your bed or even the family car, and no one would bully you, not even tigers. A rattlesnake's front teeth are called fangs. They're sharp like hooks and the tips are like needles. They fold up like a pocket knife when the snake closes its mouth and snap forward when it opens wide. When folded back, a rattlesnake's fangs slide inside fleshy covers. That way the needle tips don't nick the inside of a snake's mouth. If you had rattlesnake fangs, your front teeth would inject deadly venom. So your teeth would be all you need to fight enemies or to catch food to eat. A naked mole rat's front teeth are shaped like shovels and are in front of its lips. They're perfect for digging the family's tunnels without getting a mouthful of dirt. Like beavers, a naked mole rat's front teeth never stop growing. Biting hard roots and bulbs wears the teeth down so they don't get too long. If you had naked mole rat front teeth, you could move each tooth separately to the right or the left. They'd work just like chopsticks for picking up food, bite by bite. A vampire bat's front teeth are triangle-shaped and sharp as razors. They're perfect for scooping out a bit of an animal's skin so they can lap up the blood that flows into the wound. Baby vampire bats have teeth, but for the first four months, they aren't strong enough to fly and hunt. So they nurse and they eat vampire bat baby food, which is blood their mothers bring up from their stomachs. If you had vampire bat front teeth, you wouldn't have to worry about them chipping. Since they'd lack a hard enamel coat, the edges would wear away easily and always stay sharp. A hippopotamus's front teeth are long, strong pegs with very sharp edges. They're powerful weapons, so opening wide to show them off helps hippos scare away their enemies and the males to win a mate. Because a hippo's teeth don't yellow over time, in the past they were made into dentures. So some people used to eat with hippo teeth, including the very first president, George Washington. If you had hippopotamus front teeth, you'd never need to brush. Your upper teeth would grind against your lower ones, keeping them clean and white. A Bengal tiger's front teeth are a biting six-pack 
four sharp pegs edged by twin pointed cones set between its giant dagger-like canines. They're perfect for scraping feathers off birds and meat off bones. A mother tiger uses her front teeth to bite very gently as she picks up and moves her cubs. If you had Bengal tiger front teeth, they'd be strongly anchored in your jaw. You could bite and hold tight while dragging something as heavy as five times your weight. A crocodile's front teeth are all sharp like cones and have sharp tips. They bite well but come out easily and new ones grow in very slowly. So a crocodile's front teeth are always changing and are often different sizes. Crocodiles can't clean their own teeth, so they open their mouths for small birds called plovers to pick leftover food off their teeth. If you had crocodile front teeth, your teeth would stick out when you closed your mouth. You wouldn't need to open wide when you went to the dentist or give a toothy grin. A young camel's front teeth are long, strong, and have very sharp edges. They're just right for nipping off tough, thorny desert plants. Baby camels' front teeth erupt through their gums by the time they're 14 days old. Like you, camels have two sets of teeth. Camels get their adult front teeth when they're about five years old. If you had camel front teeth and ate tough stuff eight hours a day as camels do, by the time you were a grown-up, your front teeth would be no more than stubs. Animal teeth could be cool for a while, but you don't use your front teeth to cut down trees or scare off enemies. You don't need them to dig tunnels or bite through really tough stuff. And you never lift the family car with your teeth, even for fun. So what kind of front teeth are right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The teeth that replace those you lost will be people teeth. They'll be what you need to bite apples, carrots, and corn on the cob, just what you need to help you talk, and, best of all, to show off when you smile.